I think in India, philanthropy is differently important than it is in the West, where you have stable, relatively equal societies, except that top end now, of course, the wealthy are really breaking away from the rest of the population, the so-called 1%, which is very, very worrying. But um, in India, there's still so much basic work to be done. We still have 300 million people who are living in abject poverty, and uh, you don't have to travel very far to see that. Um, or if not abject poverty, at least certainly don't have the kind of opportunities that you and I have had. So there's so much basic work to be done. So I think at, uh, in India, philanthropy is very much a necessity. In, in Western societies, it's a nice thing to have. In India, we need to change, change power structures that keep people below a dignified level of human living. Um, so I think it plays a very different role. Um, Indian philanthropy is coming into a very exciting phase. More people know that they need to be part of making the good society that they want to live in. I think the new wealthy who don't necessarily have inherited wealth coming down to them and therefore have much more freedom in how they can use it. And therefore I think they feel a stronger need to give it away sooner, faster um, and smarter and now. So um, that's what's going to make Indian philanthropy different and exciting. And I'm very lucky to be a part of it.